on Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's the championship of the National Invitational Tournament between the 49ers of UNCC and the Wildcats of Kentucky. Good afternoon, everyone, from New York. I'm Jim Thacker with Bob Taylor in a true Cinderella wind-up to the NIT. UNCC facing the most important game of its basketball lives here today against one of the great names of basketball past the University of Kentucky. The other guard is Truman Clater. 6'1 freshman Toledo, number 22, coached by Joe Hall. Wildcats have won 19 and lost 10. And we'll be back with the opening tip-off. Here's the tip, controlled by Kentucky. Grabbed in back court by Larry Johnson. This is a running ball club. There goes Gibbons immediately. Jack Gibbons sends Kentucky out in the lead by a score of 2 to nothing. There goes Gibbons drive. Warford driving, but he also charges. That's three personal fouls on Warford, but he gets the basket, opening up Kentucky's biggest lead of the game thus far. Three points right there. Maxwell takes the charge. Cedric's uh, playing with two personal fouls. Four points for Cedric Maxwell. That's right, Jim. He's got a chance to be one of nine. Uh, Tried to get the pass back outside to Massey, who saves it, but Kentucky intercepts. Coming down is Warford. Under to Gibbons. 40 to 35. Again, UNCC's on top by five. We're one minute in the second half. Zone defense now by UNCC. They're going to force Kentucky if they can to shoot the long shot. Long one is up by Warford. Reggie Warford. Hey, Kentucky led by seven in the first half. UNCC fought back. Now UNCC leads by five with 15 minutes and 40 seconds to go. Outside shot by Warford. He's now hit his last two. So now UNCC beginning to taste some of the bitter tension that Kentucky suffered with with their star players in foul trouble. Johnson right back to Warford who's had a hot hand. Warford's three for three in this half. 47 to 45. All team on the floor. UNCC can match up a little better. Long one by Warford. That's his first miss this half. Rebound by Maxwell. Biggest man on the floor is James Lee for Kentucky, and he's 6'5". So they've got the big fellow, Phillips, on the sidelines with four fouls. It's up to Joe Hall when he returns. A steal the other end, then lost out by Kentucky. Game, UNCC on top by three. 11.35 remaining. Added away and stolen by Warford. They're doing, there's Hall, here's Kentucky. They're matching up. They're going to go man for man now, and UNCC much prefers to play there's the ball away. Loose ball picked up by Kentucky, and Kentucky leads. Reggie Warford, and Kentucky has taken the lead. 60-59. UNCC trails for the first time in the second half. They, well, they didn't respond to that at all when they first went into it. The Garden crowds never like to slow down game. Joe Hall, they won. They want to go inside to Mike Phillips. Larry Johnson has scored big baskets throughout. Now a long one outside, and it's hit. Warford. Warford has 10 points in the second half. 64 to 63. And Cedric Maxwell picks up his fourth personal foul. It's all over. Kentucky has won it with a comeback in the second half, defeating the 49ers by four points. Well, that's the end of the game. The final score, Kentucky 71, UNCC 67. And a great, thrilling finale. And there's the championship trophy that's going to go to Kentucky. Hall of Fame. The 1972 Muhlenberg County Player of the Year was the first black basketball player to graduate from Kentucky. And this moment was all about pride. I have two sons, Grant and Tyler that whenever they come to Kentucky, there's a place that they can go and they can look and see that the tiny mark that I made from a small town in Drakesboro, Kentucky, everybody likes being remembered a little bit. And this was my chance to be remembered a little bit.